Welcome to today's four-way cymbal shootout comparison video. If you like this video, found it useful, if you can give it a like, let me know your comments, ask some questions, that'd be great. And if you haven't already subscribed, if you could do that also, that'll help me out tremendously. So, bit of fun today. Um, I'm just gonna show you four 18-inch crashes that I have in my personal collection. I'm gonna talk through them, play them, describe them. Um, I'll play them all at the end, um, so you can hear what they all sound like within the kit. Um, but first of all, I'll just go through them and explain what they are. So, these are four symbols from my own personal collection. They're all 18 inch, and um, I'm gonna show you what they sound like and, and how they differ from one another today. Um, on my left hand side at the top, we have a minor extra dry thin crash. In the middle, we have a Zabian Evolution HHX crash. On my top right, we have a Minel Byzance Dual crash. And on my right hand side, we have a Minel Classic Custom Trash crash. So hear what they sound like individually, and then I'll show you what it sounds like as the kit is played. Okay, so individually, So let's talk about the, the, the minor extra dry thin crash. It does what it says on the tin. Um, it is super dry, um, extra dry, uh, but no, it is really dry. Uh, the decay is really, really short. Um, it's crisp, it's cutting, real low kind of dark tones. It doesn't, it doesn't go on for long. Um, certainly when you play it with the music, it's, it's over quite quick. So it's, it's great because it cuts straight through and it finishes relatively quick. Um, regards to the bell, There's not a lot of life there. Um, I'll talk about the others in a moment, but regards to the bell, there's not a huge amount of life. It is pretty dull, pretty, it's, the sound is over quite quickly. Um, but overall, a really dark, quick decaying cymbal um, that cuts through the music lovely. It's not quite as dark sounding as the Xavian HHX Evolution. Um, this is a really uh, dark symbol, in my opinion. It, it really rumbles. Um, it's got a nice cut to it, um, and it's got a nice um, resonance to it as well. It's not as quick as the extra dry, but um, but yeah, it is. You know, it, it does ring quite a bit compared to that. What I like about this symbol as well is, if you are doing your smaller gigs and you don't want a big setup and lots of big crashes and rides, etc. It is quite nice to play on the top. You do get that stick articulation that you don't get from the extra dry. Um, it, you know, it's, it, you do get them from both, but it's a lot brighter on the HHX, so it will cut through the music a little bit more. Now the dual crash, this is one of my favorites. This is a nice bright sounding cymbal. It cuts through the music. Again, like the other two crashes, the resonance, it is over pretty quick, but it's a bright sounding cymbal. It really cuts through. Um, so, so in other words, bright, it, it's higher pitched, it's more piercing. These two cymbals are, are lower sounding. So this is, this is a little bit, bit brighter sounding. Okay, um, and again, it does what it says on the tin. It's a dual crash, so you get that trashy kind of sound and that musical 
crash as well. So if a China is too much and you know you don't want to take two cymbals to a gig this is absolutely perfect. Personally for me I love playing this minor uh, dual crash with another crash. I think if you play them both at the same time for me I, I love that type of playing and, and I do use that a lot. So generally really kind of trashy, a lot brighter than the other two, so it cuts through the music and, um, and again it's decay, it's resonance is over quite quickly. Okay, so that's, that's that. Now the classic trash crash, again is, to, is exactly what it says on the tin, it's trashy and it's crashy. So you've got that melodic side of a crash symbol that you'd have of a crash, but you've also got that trashy kind of dirty sound that you'd have of a china. I think out of the four symbols we've got here is the shortest decaying symbol in terms of the resonance. It, it's over really, really quickly. I think that is partly because of the holes. Okay, again, these holes are in this symbol to give it the sound that it's got, but also there's not as much metal there, so it's not going to ring, so it's going to finish quite quick. So this is great, you know, certainly if you kind of, if you're, you're just stabbing in your phrase and your accents around the kit. For me, when I hit this crash, it's great because it's so short and, you know, it, its initial burst is fantastic. It really cuts through the music, but it's just over um, really, really quick. So real nice, low, grunty, trashy tone. Um, but again, it's, it's not offensive because it's over really quick. So for them accents and stabs, this is absolutely fantastic for me. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, and you know, you can clearly hear and tell the difference between these four symbols. Have a listen to what they all sound like when they're played together. Let me know your thoughts and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.